Merchandise Financial Planning, Chapter 2, Session 2, Receipt and Markdown Planning. In order to understand a company's high-level margin plans, you must first understand what metrics are required to be planned to calculate the MMU percent and the associated derived costs. Margin planning allows the planners, merchants, and executive teams to see where and when the profits will occur at a product level such as class or department over time such as week, month, or season. As previously mentioned, gross margin planning only takes into account merchandise related expenses such as receipts and permanent markdowns. Specific metrics are inputted and planned by the planners to calculate the MMU percent which will then update all the associated cost calculations. Receipt planning has two important roles within merchandise financial planning. First, they ensure there's enough inventory bought to support the original sales plan. Secondly, they are part of the MMU calculation, which then all of your planning metric costs will become a derivative from. When planning receipts, there needs to be an understanding of what an acceptable initial markup or IMU percent target will be. It is the fresh receipts that have a higher initial markup, elevating the blend within the MMU calculation. Permanent markdown planning is also integral to planning your maintained markup. Permanent markdowns have a relationship with inventory. When a markdown has been taken, the inventory is devalued. However, the cost does not change. The cost of an item remains as is, what was negotiated and purchased from a vendor. With the reduction of the retail value devaluating the inventory and the cost is remaining as is, this is now reduced your markup. When we combine the plan markdowns with the receipt planning, we're capturing the blend of the fresh and aged inventory within the MMU. The MMU calculation begins with the beginning of period inventory for each period. We then add in our receipt values at both retail and cost and subtract our permanent markdowns at retail. This allows us now to capture the maintained markup for inventory pre and post markdowns, hence the blend. The calculation for MMU percent is one, minus the total of your beginning of period inventory at cost, plus your receipts at cost, divided by the total of your beginning of period inventory at retail, minus your permanent markdowns at retail, plus your receipts at retail. This is a go forward calculation. The performance metrics previously planned at retail are now calculated for costs based off of the MMU percent. The cost metrics will now recalculate the cost balance set and create a new end of period inventory. That end of period inventory will become the next period's BOP and all metrics will update again for a new EOP. This flow allows for the movement across time. 